It's a dark and stormy night. <laughs> There's so much wind. So you guys are gonna complain about wind. But we're in a special mission. A mission I have waited for for many, many months to come to Orlando. We are heading over to Top Golf on Universal Boulevard. Brand new, open to the public this week. Grand opening on Friday. We're hoping for a soft opening today. They are doing soft opens today. This is what it looks like in the foyer. We got some merchandise. We'll double back on that. We go in here. We got a big bar. And there's a lot of different bays out here, all facing out to the bar too. So come here, get your drink on, get your food on, hit some balls. All right, we've headed upstairs. Got like a little chill area here. We got some foosball. And then you got this look outside. Let's check this out. It's ridiculous. Got some heat lamps going. It's Florida cold, yo. It's about 75 degrees outside. And there you go. You see the Orlando Eye in the distance. The convention center is over here behind us. But I am ready. Now we're going downstairs to check out what's here. We got a little shuffleboard table, some food tables. There's another bar back there. And more bays downstairs. Look at these couches. This is pretty rad. And they have a VIP lounge over here too. You should check it out. VIP has their own little area away from everybody else. Way cool. This is our bay. So we've got like this thing happening that tells you the distance that corresponds with those targets out there. How far you're hitting. You want to aim for the targets. You don't want to run and start, otherwise you're going to be a really bad viral video. You also don't want to clock the guy behind you when you're swinging backwards. When you hover your golf club over the sensor, your ball will pop out. Stick a club, get a ball. And then they track everything. So you got TVs here, we can check out the game. I'm going to start hitting here. All right, so this is um, kind of confusing, but the tracer is going to show where the balls are landing. I think Drew's going to hit some balls first. This is Drew. Have you seen him before? Everyone say, hi, Drew. When are you going to record another podcast? They also have a full selection of drinks and food. They have their full story. You have these blinky cups that are in the shape of golf bags. Two different types. There's other drinks for the bar here. Margaritas, mules. Interestingly enough, they do a Jägermeister Bloody Mary. I love my Jäger. You have craft beers. Drew is interrupting to say it's amazing because we can watch the Yankees while we're sitting here. They have local craft beers. You have buckets of beer. So the buckets of beer come in a bucket of six. And it's about 27 bucks for a bucket. Food, we're gonna try this jumbo pretzel board that's got all kinds of salami and cheese and grapes and stuff. But they have this ridiculous sandwich, the goat, the greatest of all times. It's French toast, Captain Crunch chicken. Well, the, the golf bag drinks didn't come in. Our server just told us. I don't even want to show you what Drew just did on the side. <laughs> Back to this greatest of all time sandwich. The big fan is greatest of all time. It's French toast, Captain Crunch, fried chicken, over easy egg, chopped bacon, jalapeno gravy, maple syrup, onions, and chula. Back <laughs> so good. Bacon, mac, and cheese spring rolls. Although we just found out about it now. <laughs> <laughs> They also have this really interesting mushi, which is basically Mexican sushi. Crazy. I'll tell you what, I literally want to eat everything that's on this menu now. Look at these hamburgers, right up my alley too. What? And you got these donut holes, uh, very similar to Taco Bell, but these are dusted donut holes. 24 of them come in a serving between two flavors, chocolate raspberry or Bavarian cream and portion of the sale goes to make a wish. And they've got brunch too. Chicken and waffle sliders. So this is what our screen looks like now. I'm up, hit my first ball. Drew hit four balls. And as you hit towards your targets, it's gonna score us here. We're playing against each other, a battle to the death. Uh, 
Oh, you got a hold of that one. Now it's lit up, it looks even cooler. Premium quality snacks here. We got like sausage, salami, ham, apples, cheese, and this giant pretzel, and some sauces. If you can see on the screen here, as Drew is hitting, you can literally see the GPS for each one of these balls has a chip inside of it that told you the speed that it went, the carry that it went, the hang time, the curve. So you can tell if you're slicing, hooking, hitting straight, and if you're hitting the targets. It's ridiculous. Final score, 94 this game. I don't know if that's good or bad. All right, we're done playing golf, we're done eating, we're gonna take a quick spin on merch. So we've got gloves, they got you covered. You got water bottles. I like this orange water bottle, it's nice. 22 bucks. Yeah. Under Armour polo shirts, t-shirts, cups. Oh, the cups are rubber. This is crazy. I love that. 16 bucks for this cup. Hats. Yeti coolers, shot glasses, I like this hat, oh and it's my favorite, flex fits, $32 for the hat, but I do like that a lot, oh and black and white, what, love it, and some lady items on this end, oh look at this, they nailed the Florida contingent, real tree, Captain Tom, Drew says that's for you. All right, we're wrapping up at Top Golf. I think I want to move in here. <laughs> this place was seriously amazing. It is expensive um, if you're thinking about renting um, a stall. It rents for about 50 bucks for an hour. Um, but if you're bringing multiple people, kind of divide that amongst everybody and the price significantly goes down. Um, as far as bang for the buck, I thought it was a lot more fun than going conventional bowling. Um, and the atmosphere is fantastic. TVs, the food was great. Um, staff drinks, was good. staff was awesome. So I can't wait to come back. All right, we're gonna walk across the parking lot to Andretti Racing. We're gonna see if we can get in to take a peek around. They had some type of media event going on tonight, so I'm not sure we'll be able to get into place. All right, so this is the outside of Andretti's. Can't really show you anything because the private event is going on, but they did give us a $10 game card for free because we were inconvenienced. Well, like, there's the entrance for Andretti's around the corner. There's a mailbox just out here by the side door. It's funny to me. Odd name choice for an insurance company when you're in Orlando and NXT is a big thing here. All right, quick jump cut. We made it over by I-360 to check out the Orlando Eye and that really spooky giant spider there. Ooh. Oh, it's so spooky. All right, you saw the time lapse. Now you can see this spider. It's gigantic. So my pass expired from Merlin Parks, so Legoland and everything we can't go to right now, or the Eye. But we came over here to see who the free guy was outside at Madame Tussauds. And it's Mike. I want to be like Mike. It's a very precariously placed skeleton here. What are you doing, sir? <laughs> we stopped at Epic McDonald's real quick. This night's just all over the place, but Mac tonight, he's been like dead for the last year. What a shame. Well, I am back home from a really fun night out. Top Golf, really super cool. Can't wait to get back there again. Golf is one of those things that I thought when I moved to Florida originally 14 years ago that 
I'd be doing it all the time. When I lived in Staten Island before moving to Orlando, I belonged to kind of like a goof-off league called the Bad Golf Association. Get it? Wink, wink. BGA instead of PGA. Concept being 99% of the people that play golf are not good at golf. So, you know, if you're shooting over 100, which is typically the case with me, you know, you're playing with other people, same skill level, but having fun. We'd have mimicking tournaments, kind of like the US Open and things like that. So it was a really fun group of guys to play with. But when I moved here, I think I may have played maybe five or six times since the time that I moved and really disappointing. I could get out to a local range and hit some balls or, you know, play as a single and try to get joined up, but kind of not the same feeling. Top golf was a lot of fun, really because it brings a different dynamic to the whole game, you know, with like targets and the community of like hanging out, having some food, maybe a couple drinks if you want. Really, really a lot of fun. They do officially have their grand opening scheduled for this Friday, and we were told that they're expecting waits of up to uh, two to three hours per um, slot or lane to be able to get into, um, you know, when they do their official opening. We will definitely be back there again, if not often. But for now, a little bit of sleep. I think we're going to do Horror Nights tomorrow, so go team. So on that note, thank you very much for coming along with us. Thank you for all of your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.